What's up, gamers? Back to the scheme here. Uh, what I like for the red zone, that's what we're talking about today. Now, we talked about last couple of weeks, we talked a lot of shotgun. We talked about doubles flex wing. We talked about wing offs that week, bunch week, uh, pack trips, and also we talked about the... Uh, what else did we talk about? We talked about the doubles because we wanted to show you how to beat the FL screen, how to use the FL screen from there. Um, I was going to show you a play out of the full house, but they don't have the exact play I wanted to show you for today. So we're going to show you a different red zone offense, but this is um, a little bit beginnerish, but I think it's really good. And uh, it's a single back ace it's going to come out in the halfback zone week. Now, there's a couple of things, a couple of different avenues your opponent could take in the red zone. Typically, they could take like a heavy, you know, 5 2 run stopping or a 3 4 solid kind of like hybrid. And so a lot of people will go the hybrid and take the like the zones and stuff like that and set up the pressure. And they may drop like flats like this, like that. And that's what they would do. Well, the zone weak. You do, uh, you typically get pretty nice blocking, and you can hammer that in. You have it both ways because you can flip it. So we can flip the zone weak right and left and run it like that. Now another thing that we can do here, and this is what it really starts to get uh, wild with the scheme, is like we can bring green across formation. So we could run the ball by motioning green. Now what we can do is this: we can zig both tight ends, put green on a hitch route, motion him back across the formation, snap it right as he starts to set, right there and throw it and you see that you can get that hitch route user catch going so there's a bunch of different ways that you can work that as well um, but what like I said what I like to do is bring green across and motion snap the halfback zone week a couple times get them feeling like oh, okay he wants to run in the red zone and you'll probably score at least one or two touchdowns then you can kinda start to play games as well you know you may motion him over to the left but then you may say okay I'm gonna run it back to the right stuff like that just to kinda play with their mind then what you can do is this uh, this formation has a single back ace twins. So you could bring – so what you can do – let me get back out of here. But basically you can bring green across on the run. And so you would do that every time. So you bring green across every single time on the run. And you would either run it left or right. And if you didn't like to look for the run, then you can say, okay, I'm going to go into the ace twins. Ace twins, not the ace pair, the ace twins. You want to pick the play smash. And then what you want to do is you want to put AJ Green in a hitch route. You want to put both running back or both tight ends on zig routes. You want to motion AJ Green back across formation. See, this is the play that you've created now, and you would snap AJ Green in the red zone and uh, click on try to make a user catch. The user catch we've showed you before on my channel. So those are two different ways that you can score in the red zone from this. Here is a third option, and this is actually the main option of the video. If they drop off, if they if they are dropping like guys in coverage, they're not blitzing you heavily. Even if they are blitzing you heavily, it's very difficult to stop this. This is why you put those two tight ends on the zigs. What you can do is you can snap and throw them passing to the inside, and it's a little bit hard. you got to take a little timing. You want to take one step back with your quarterback. Like Basically, you want to take a step back at about 7 o'clock, and you're going to throw these zig routes. Okay, so bring guy over, audible, bring him back, put him on a hitch route, bring him back over. While you're bringing him back over, you can put those two zigs on the field. Okay, slide protect whatever way you're going to slide protect. And there you see, you see that little snap throw to Jermaine Gresham. There was a crazy play by the linebacker, but... You see the idea. And so, like, you would do is, you know, typically what they'll do. I mean, they're going to be so worried about all the other stuff that you got going on. I mean, they're going to have to – I mean, think about it. They're going to have to drop flats on this side, this side here. They're going to have to, you know, maybe drop a spy to Thomas. All these things that they're going to have to do. And then all of a sudden for you to sit there and go, you know, screw you. I'm going to throw these little zigs. So – those zigs are actually a lot better in game. Uh, have a little trouble with them in the practice mode for whatever reason, um, but it's just one step back and then throw them. And you, you're basically, you're basically saying, okay, I'm just gonna snap throw the zig, and I'm, you know, you can lob it if you want to. And then actually, I think I have had a little bit better success lobbing the streak. So just take a step back and lob it. But the only problem that you got to watch out for, and this is for any under center quick passing scheme. You have to watch out for like a gap blitzes and things like that. There you see another example of that, like um, that the play working to perfection. And I mean, you know, we're not motioning over and everything, but once you start motioning over, everything that makes this thing really deadly. And remember, this is a red zone scheme. This is only for situations like where you need maybe one, two yards. And um, you see that we're doing a pretty nice job. Uh,
converting these uh, little snap throws eggs. So check that out, guys. That's our red zone scheme, single back ace. A lot of things you can do with it. I love the ace twins out of it to bring the guy back across the formation. So check that out. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the video, uh, the comments below. And then lastly, guys, be sure to go over to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash maddentips365. Check that out. That's a really good page. Got a lot of content coming on there soon. Uh, Going to have some free guides on that site. Uh, the guides will not be, re be released on my YouTube. It's only on my Facebook page. So if you want a free guide, go over to my Facebook page, like it, and I'll be let you guys know as soon as I got the guides done. And those of you who like my Facebook page can get it for free. So thanks for checking that out, guys, and we'll talk to you later.